here on my own tonight, but uh, the destroyers send me out, you know, periodically to do this kind of thing in order to keep me hungry. <laughs> I first came to uh, London in the uh, in the spring, in this time of year actually, in 1966. <laughs> a long time ago. I was a young folk singer and uh, I hung out with a guy called Lemmy who went on to be Mr. Motorhead and uh, he talks about it in his autobiography White Lion Fever how he came to live with me in a rat hole in Sudbury on Thames uh, I used to do the shopping, we didn't have any money, we just had art and music this is a little story from those days, it's called Shoplifters Talking Blues was Mecca. Hungry beats walk the streets and smoke more than tobacco. Conferences of washed out jeans and hot to find a raver. As a part-time runaway who is a premium bond saver. Well, we lived above a boutique at all house upon the high street. A few doors from the Whippy Bar, the entrance down an alley. Many people came and went and no one knew who paid the rent so none would speak while the floorboard creaked when the rent man came a calling. Lord, times was hard and we was barred from wimpy bars and cafes. Boozers too, but the seats were new because our clothes were dirty. Times was hard, we had no cards and no dough was forthcoming. Most of us had got pneumonia man out on the roadway thumbing. But you know, advertising slogans, they're created to provoke. And a fray bent of steak pie looks heaven when you're broke. And religion's always urged, above all, heaven must be sought. So the pie must be stolen, if the pie cannot be bought. It was thus philosophized, and I went walking round the store. I'm basketing a few large items, concealing many more. In the pockets of my donkey jacket, down the legs of my jeans. Underneath the armpit sausages, and round the back. Big beans. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, property must be protected to use sophisticated technique like two-way mirror and hidden camera to catch the thieving freak. And thus it was that on that day this dreadful fate befell me. I was at the cash desk casually rapping when at my shoulder a hand come tapping and I turned around and wanted to see. Supermarket manager growling at me weren't offering no prize that much was clear. I thought it's time I better disappear. I jerked to the left and a jerk to the right and then a pool with all my might. I had him hypnotized, oh yippee you. I jumped the rails and off a flew. Out the door and down the street and past the policeman on his beat. I thought he wouldn't see me, he was moving so fast. And then he gave his whistle a blast. By that time was already scrambling over a wall with the ivy rambling. I saw it was a churchyard, Jesus saves. I hid right down among the graves. Well, I got my breath back, I got the contemplating this here whole episode of been relating and when I spread my food out on the gravestone I got the feeling I weren't eating alone. Maybe it was the angel with the outstretched wings and maybe the way the small bird sings in the silence after the ring of the bells it says, God helps those who help themselves from supermarket shelves. <laughs> You'll have to forgive my bass string for being a bit out of tune there, but this is another song about property. This is a song that did with the Destroyers. This is an acoustic version of it. It's set in the Manhattan district of New York, December 2008, just as the news came in of the collapse of the bird.